are you all? I really hope you're okay. You join us out on a little walk in our Cornish, beautiful Cornish countryside by the coast. I'll show you some little footage along the way. But I'm out today testing Kickwatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. Oh yeah, baby. And I just want to tell you a little bit about it. I've been trying it for the last few days. I am going to keep trying it over the next few days and just try to bring you a really good review and just tell you my thoughts on it and give you some feedback. So, come on. This watch has so many features on it. It's probably going to be near on impossible for me to tell you about all of them. And to be fair, some of them are probably fairly standard for a smartwatch. Now I've never owned a smartwatch before, so I don't have anything to personally compare this to. But my review also isn't going to be a massively techie specky kind of review because you know me, <laughs> I can't always remember that stuff. I'll put really important information on the screen that I miss when I'm talking about the watch for you. So just to begin with, I'll talk about when I opened the watch. It came in a really, really nice packaging, really solid, and the watch at first appearance is really nice. It's classy, it's black. Now, it's a little bigger on my wrist than maybe I would have chosen. And it's a little heavier, so you know you might might need to practice for a little while to get used to the extra weight. <laughs> but it's really comfortable to wear, which is brilliant. It's got a fluoro rubber um, wrist strap, which is really easy to switch out. Really easy, actually. So if you wanted to change your strap, then you can. Obviously, it's made of this material because. It is waterproof and resistant to all sorts of oxides and things like that. <laughs> so the watch is waterproof. Off the top of my head, I can't remember sort of how deep you can go, but I'll put that on the screen. So when I start going for my wild swims and things in the summer, I won't have to worry about getting the watch wet, which is brilliant, isn't it really? Oh, look at these views, man. I'm not at all stopping for a breather. Gorgeous. I keep having to keep my wits about me because there's a lot of people around. <laughs> oh. Right. I might bring you back in a bit when I've got to the top of this hill. <laughs> that bay down there. There's someone paddle boarding around to it. I can't zoom you in anymore. The water looks incredible. Oh, that's looking out over St. Austell. St. Austell Bay. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. So far, I have found the watch really easy to use, which for me <laughs> is really quite important, being that I'm not very good with technical stuff. The initial setup installation process was really easy to follow, which was brilliant. I love the fact that you can kind of personalise the watch. Now it has a dual faced screen, so you could would you can change the background colour of like the top screen, and when you tilt your wrist. That little screen comes to life and you can see the time and the very basic information how many steps you've done and what your battery's on so that's really helpful and then you press the top right hand button to get to your menu and it's really quite a simple kind of swipe up swipe down swipe left swipe right it does different things so after a little bit of kind of playing around with it i'm already getting the hang of it 
which I'm really, really pleased with because I thought it would take me ages. You need two apps on your phone. You need the Mobvoi app and you need the Google Wear OS app. And they kind of work in tandem with the phone, really. Give you lots of options to change your watch face. Um, you can change, you can change just about everything. The size of the writing on the screen. So I've got it on normal and that's really easy for me to read. Again, my eyesight's not, not the greatest, but I'm absolutely fine on it, a normal setting, which is brilliant. Like I said, you can change out the straps if you want to. There are so many apps on this watch. It's incredible. Currently, I am using Tick Exercise to basically monitor my exercise on this walk. So it's going to tell me how far I've walked, what elevation I've done, how many steps I've done, how many calories I've burnt. So it's going to be amazing. But for the time being, I am one very, very happy and impressed little bunny. So the tick watch has a real focus on monitoring your physical and your mental health. So it has the ability to monitor your stress levels and your heart rate, prompt you when you need to stop, go for a walk, have a little breather. It's absolutely incredible. So I'm going to be putting that very much to use over the next few days when I'm back at work <laughs> to remind me to take a breather and to stop a minute. So I'll reflect on that later in the week. TickWatch has a longer battery life than the Samsung Smart Series 4 watch, apparently. So this can last up to 72 hours when you're using apps and using it as a smart device. It's longer than that if you're just using it like on essential mode. But so far, I have I used this solidly for two and a half days. Well, not solidly. I wasn't up 24 hours a day. But I used, it was on for two and a half days before I had to charge it up. So I thought that was really quite impressive because I was sort of fiddling around with it a lot, playing, looking at the apps on it and everything. So I thought that was really quite impressive. And it doesn't actually take very long to charge fully either. Um, it's got a really cool kind of snap-on little magnetic um, adapter that plugs into either a plug or into like a USB socket. Um, so the charging is really easy and really efficient as well, which is brilliant. And I'll be able to use that when I'm out on my camp as well with my battery pack, which is even better if it happened to sort of to need a bit of a, a bit of a boost, as we all do from time to time. <laughs> Not many watch reviews give you views like this, do they? Huh? Amazing. So now I'm back home again, I just want to talk through a few more of the features on the watch um, that I haven't mentioned yet. So I'm just going to swap the camera over and talk you through them. Now we all know how important mental health is and physical health is and the tick watch enables you to kind of monitor both really which is just amazing and then would obviously flag up if there were any concerns and you needed to see a GP. So you've got tick health on your watch and this monitors how active you've been in a day, how many steps you've done, it shows you how many calories you've burnt, how far you've walked, it also measures your mental fatigue your energy levels, and then tells you how much exercise you've done. There's so many things on here that obviously this would then flag up if you had need for concern to go back to your GP, which is really helpful. You can also on here measure your pulse. So this is obviously good again, just to keep an eye if there was any need for concern at all. But at the minute, hopefully mine is okay. Is it gonna do it? There we go, 77, resting. So yeah, that's fine. The other thing you can do on here as well is you can manage, measure the blood oxygen. So this takes a minute to do and you have to obviously make sure that your watch is nice and secure on your wrist. And again, this would just flag up if you had any need to go and see your GP. 
because if this was constantly saying abnormal, <laughs> you'd have need for concern. But yeah, you can see mine is absolutely fine. You've also got a heart rate monitor on here, which again is really useful just to flag up if there's any concerns. And I can tell you now that when it shows that I've had a really high um, raised heart rate, then that has been accurate because that was watching football this morning. <laughs> You can see my uh, heart rate went a little crazy then. Right, let's go back out to Karen in the field on the coast path. Hello, hello. Out again, testing the mob, mob Boy Tick Watch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. Try saying that. Going up a hill on the Cornish coast path. Look at that view behind me. Incredible, huh? So today I'm using the Outdoor Active app and so far the GPS on the watch has been really spot on for telling me where I am and I was able to download the map from my phone to my watch, which is awesome. So, so far, so good. So obviously I don't necessarily need a GPS tracker on a coast path when the path goes that way or that way. <laughs> but I don't want to be testing it out for the first time really out on the moors. <laughs> so this seemed like a perfect opportunity to give it a test and so far working really well. It is moving with me on my watch. I'm able to follow it on my phone as well, which is quite handy to have the option just to look at both. So yeah, so far working really well. So I'm chuffed with that because it's taken me a little while to kind of get the hang of what to do. And the watch seems a little slow to react sometimes. And I think it's just purely because I'm expecting it to act as quickly as a phone or a computer, which obviously it doesn't quite. So you just need to be a bit patient. <laughs> I'm very impatient. But so far, so good. Loving the watch. I'm loving this walk. Look. Amazing, huh? Quite a long way down. <laughs> oh, steps were killer, aren't they? But the bottom's only just down there. <laughs> oh. And then the path goes back up the other side. All the way back up over there. <laughs> so I know this review video is a little bit different, but I hope you've enjoyed coming with me on some coastal adventures and having a look at the amazing TickWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. <laughs> I'm getting it. <laughs> An amazing watch. Thank you so much to Mobboy for reaching out to me and having faith that I could do their watch justice on video. I hope you've enjoyed watching the review and I'll see you all again soon, guys. Take care. Bye. Thanks, Mobboy.